Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did my first boil test on this Alex 7-piece camping cook set. Uh, had a couple of comments from that and questions. One thing I wanted to say right off the top, on the bottom of the box there was a web address and it doesn't seem to work. Sorry about that. The uh, first test I did with this comes apart this is the base, the pot stand, this is the pot with the cup lid, just like so. And this is the windscreen, which fits on top of this bottom stand piece. And the, well, the Trangia type burner that they have fits in here. This is my second Trangia that I'm using, my second Trangia burner that I'm using for these tests. One of the problems that comes in is when you put the pot stand in, it fits in on the top just like this and then rests on these little uh, impressions. But the distance from this to the top of the burner was two and three eighths of an inch which is a bit more than the sweet spot of one inch to say one and a quarter inches. So I had Woodman Cam make the suggestion, hi Hiram, I have the same setup six months. The first thing I did was place a tin can lid on top of the base to raise the burner. This will cut down the boil time by almost 40%. I had a similar thought. I was just going to put a hard wire cloth in here. I thought that might be handy to let air come through. But I looked at Woodman Cam's idea, and it's a good idea. What you have here are, I don't know if you can see it, there are three lugs that there's like a keyhole connector there. It just goes in. You turn it a little bit, and then it's locked in place. Well, if you take a can lid, it'll fit right between those lugs so it doesn't slide around. And then the can lid itself has these indentations. You put that in like so, and the burner right in on top of that. It keeps it from sliding around. Pretty nice. So the distance from this, from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is now about one and one quarter inches which should be a whole lot closer to the sweet spot and that's what I'm going to do today try another boil test with that now also I had USMC 65 UH 34D uh, ask me would it be possible to make lower indentations on the upper plate area to adjust the level for several heights and what he's saying there, instead of using the lid in here, adjust the pot stand up and down. Like I said, there are these indentations around the outer edge. These are what hold up the pot stand part. If you could make indentations on this, I'd say, yeah, that'd be great. But I think maybe just little stainless steel uh, bolts and nuts drill holes at different levels and use nuts to hold this up and down. That way not only would it see like so if you brought it down like that not only would it lower it to your flame but it would protect your pot even more. Your pot would be down deeper in the windscreen part. So that might be a good idea too. He also asked is the burner of equal quality to the Trangia? I don't know. It's a lighter metal. It looks like it's the exact same dimensions and everything. Um, he said that he saw on a Chinese site that they may leak. Well, the problem is I have a Trangia burner, my first one. It's got cracks on this upper edge and it leaks. I can't tell yet. I haven't used these long enough 
to see how long they last. My first Trangia burner, this one, has easily been, I'd say, I don't know, 400 times, but a lot of them were where they, I burned them until they ran out dry, and now there's cracks on this upper edge. I don't know if you can see the alcohol sitting there. It just kind of oozes up. So I think all of them, the Trangias and the Trangia wannabes, probably over time leak. Also, he, uh, USMC 65 UH-34D asked, could this stove be used as a small wood fire in an emergency? When Oh, somewhere I'd seen it, either on one of the ads or something. They had prescribed it as being, or described it rather, as being multi-fuel. I thought maybe they meant with a solid fuel or something like this. I think you could use this for wood, but if you made it too hot, it might just melt down the stand. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to break, get my water prepared, and then I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water set here. Let me light this. We'll wait for this to come to a bloom. So this test will be with using Woodman Cam's idea of raising the burner using a tin can lid. Let's get this to a bloom. Huh, water went back down to 59 degrees. It was at 60. Come on. Okay, I have the methanol in it measured. Okay, there we've got a bloom. Two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees. Uh, like I was saying, I have the methanol measured on this, so I'll put this out right away once it comes to a boil and measure how much uh, methanol was actually used. So let's see where this goes. Okay, we're two minutes into the test, two minutes ten seconds into the test, and the temperature's up to 106 degrees. I think you can see that there's a little bit different of a shape here. It comes out a little bit, bows in, and then comes right back out. Before, it was a much longer distance there, and it kind of gave for an open flame. So this looks a little bit better. So, let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211. No, 212 and 719. Hmm, that's a little crazy. Okay, let me take this off. Put this out right away. Ah. One thing I hadn't counted on. Couldn't get the lid in there with the burner elevated. Okay, I don't know what to say with that. This time it was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, 59, 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 7 minutes and 19 seconds. When I did this the last time, where the burner was down in the uh, pot stand or windscreen, whichever you want to call this part, Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a full boil in 7 minutes and 15 seconds. Room temperature now was 83 degrees, humidity 65. It was 82 degrees and 72 percent deg humidity, the last test. Hmm, I really did think this should have heated it up faster. 
don't know what to say. So anyway, that's Woodman Cam's idea. I think it's a, a good idea. I'm not sure why the numbers don't hold up the idea here. I just don't know. Hmm. So anyway, that's test two. If there's interest, I'll try this again, but it all will pretty much average out to about the same. Okay, so I thank Woodman Cam's uh, Woodman Cam for his idea for this test. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.